I've made a content generator that replaces something like GPT for sheets, and I wanted to talk about it in this video. So as you may or may not know, GPT for sheets has recently switched to a paid model, and it was really, really good at allowing you to manipulate a lot of data and run API calls on a lot of data. But I've worked out a system that will replace it using Python, and I wanted to show you how to use it in this video. So first of all, go to my GitHub. I'll leave a link to this exact GitHub link right here. And then if we just go to Visual Studio Code, and we'll do Python. No, sorry, we'll do git clone, paste that, and then we'll just call it um, TSV Content Generator. That will then clone the script and then you can open it. Now, obviously I've got it right here, so um, I'm not gonna open that exact one. This one already has an API key. Now, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you how you can use this. So if we go to Shopify and we export and we do um, current page and CSV for Excel numbers or other spreadsheet programs, and then once it's downloaded, we can, unzip it so we'll unzip that now and then you can drag this across to the csv content generator right click and then copy relative path but actually before we do that i do want to show you something else so first of all you what you want to do is you want to import it into google sheets unless you know a better way of doing this um, this is how i do it so i'm going to drag this over and i'm going to upload it now, the reason we want to do it like this is because um, we don't want it to run on all of the categories, okay? So basically, this can be used in a number of different ways, but you, you just need a CSV with a lot of data in. And this can be quite common if you're running like a dropshipping store and you do a big import of products, and then all of the products have the same like product description as all of the other competitors on the internet. So what do you want to do? You want to make yours... Um, unique so that it will actually rank on Google. So that's kind of the logic here. There are loads and loads of different reasons that you might want to use this. You might want to translate all of this content. But yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to remove any categories that don't really need to be changed. So handle doesn't need to be changed. We'll leave title and we'll make like a different meta title or something. So we'll get rid of vendor. Actually, we'll do it like this. So we don't need any of these. We don't need sweaters, we don't need published. You just want to get rid of all of the ones that you don't really need. Yeah, we don't need any of these. So we'll right click here and we will delete these columns. So we've just got, we'll delete the handle as well because the handle shouldn't really change. Um, so we'll delete this as well. So we just had the title and the body. Obviously the, the, it depends on what you're trying to do. So everyone's use case is going to be different. But you can see here there's a lot of content and basically what I want to do is I want to make this unique so that it will rank on Google because all of my competitors have all the same content. That's just an example of this being used. I don't know how you're going to use this, but there are millions of ways to use this. So now we'll track this back over to here and we'll delete this other one because we don't need it. And then <clears throat> what you want to do is you want to change the prompt according to what you're trying to do. Okay. So this is using the older version of ChatGPT. For things like this, I actually prefer uh, uh, OpenAI 0.28 instead of um, the Assistance API. So you can change the system prompt and you can change the user prompt. I think these prompts are pretty good. It took me a while to work this out. But what this particular prompt does is it kind of adds SEO to the content and it it shouldn't chat back to you, which is important. Do not chat back to me because it often says things like, here is your content about blah, blah, blah. But if you say, do not chat back to me when you're doing programmatic, um, like SEO or optimization or whatever it might be, then the likelihood is it's not going to chat back to you. You still might get some times where it chats back to you though. This content is going directly on a website without editing. Just do the task. You are changing the words in a CSV. You cannot see the CSV. But I'm using one prompt on the entire CSV. You must decide when it's necessary to change words or not. The words here need to be changed and optimized for SEO. And then we've got 
The words here need to be changed and optimized for SEO, but do not change any technical information, specific names, specific measurements, anything specific must remain exactly the same as it was before. However, where possible, change the wording in order to make sure it's not duplicate content. If it's just a short word or one word, then just give me the same word again. Rewrite this in a different way. This is the user prompt, unless it's technical information or one word, and then you feed the text inside the prompt. So we'll save this. And then it's actually just ready to run. So we'll do Python CSV content generator. Oh, we need to CD CSV content first of all. One more thing we have to do before we run the script is we've got to right click on the product export, copy relative path, and then replace where it says your CSV file with your CSV file path like that. And then if we run the script, you'll see that it will start rewriting the content. So you can see it's replaced boss black cotton hoodie with boss black cotton sweatshirt with hood. This is actually better for SEO because it, there are more words in it and also um, the sweatshirt plus hood. I don't know, it just has, I feel like it has a better likelihood of ranking. So you can see if we just scroll down, it's just changing them a little bit um, into unique content. So if you've got a drop shipping store and you want to focus on organic SEO, this is a really, really good way to do it. Um, now, you will see sometimes it'll do something like this, where it's changed boss to executive, which is terrible. Obviously, you don't want that. So you will, you do have to be kind of careful. You do have to kind of check things a little bit, make sure it hasn't just added a load of random crap to it. But in general, you can see it's doing a pretty good job and it will rewrite all of the content um, into completely unique content. Now, I've been wanting something like this for a while. And what it does is it just does every single column on the CSV. So whatever is in this, it will rewrite. OK, so make sure you delete everything that you don't want. But also think about it. You can literally do a CSV with millions of columns. There's no limit to this. It will just keep going and keep going. It, it will obviously take a bit of time, but eventually it will finish. And this can just save you a huge amount of time on a huge amount of tasks. Another thing you could do is you could export all of your blogs, let's say, and you could run an internal link thing where you like list your internal links. Uh, if you give your internal links to the script, maybe in the prompt, if you just say, can you add internal these internal links and then put some of your main pages here in the user prompt, you can export all of your blogs from WordPress, run it, and then re-import them. And that could be a way to do internal links. There's a million ways to use this script. Anything that takes a lot of time and writing and, you know, even, even for us at Two Men, I say us, I don't work there anymore, but. Well, I kind of do, but um, even at two men, like w it would be so much better if we just wrote like the n this, just wrote the name in a spreadsheet, like the 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 title, and then ran the script to write all of the product descriptions. Because right now the team is using ChatGPT 3.5 manually, and it takes ages. It really really slows them down a lot because they have to run it through ChatGPT every time. There would be an easy, easy way to automate all of this kind of stuff. So yeah, that's kind of what I've been working on, guys. I did this for a uh, translation. That was originally why I made the script. But then I needed to do something slightly different to translation. So I, yeah, I, um, I changed the script to just work on every single cell inside a CSV. It's really, really useful, guys. I'm sure a lot of people are wanting something like this. If you're watching until the end of the video, thank you so much. You're an absolute legend. And I will see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out. Oh, sorry. By the way, what I should say that the, the point of this is afterwards you can re-import it. Okay, so after this is finished, you take the, the CSV, which will be called like um, processedcontent.csv. You put it back into Google Sheets, so you import it, and then, or you can just import it directly into Shopify, or you import it back into Google Sheets, 
and then go back, like press control Z, control Z, control Z, and then just copy the column that you've changed. So like the body, for example, copy it from the other Google sheet that you just made out of the import and then copy column B it'll be and put it in column C, just paste it and it'll just paste directly into, into here. Same with uh, title, same with all of them. So that's kind of, yeah, that's how you, that's how you do that.